Hey, good day, good evening, good afternoon. This is Alex Haig with EXP and the Haig Group of the Treasure Coast. Today, we are bringing you Market Update, November 2019, November 2020. You gotta believe these numbers. Stay tuned. Okay, good day. All right, so we have Market Update, Tri-County. We're gonna do uh, three counties here, starting with our beloved St. Lucie County. We're gonna be going from November 2019 to November 2020. And what it started off with closed sales in St. Lucie County were 443 units closed in 2019. We had 548 closed in November 2020, up 23.7% St. Lucie County, wow. Moving down to Martin County, you thought those numbers were big. We had 174 units closed in November 2019. We had 241 units closed in 2020. In November, we had up 38.5% in Martin County closed sales, big numbers. Moving down, Palm Beach County, we had 1,194 units that closed. Uh, remember, these are single family homes closed in 2019. November, we had uh, 1,533 units closed in uh, November of 2020, they're up 28.4%. So in that 20% uh, percent range, big numbers here, guys. Now, paid in cash, laundered money, mattress money. Uh, we had St. Lucie County was 109 units in 2019. We had 115 units, so they were only up about 5.5% year-to-year date. Moving down, what a difference a county makes. Just coming over that St. Lucie to Martin County line, we had 70 units closed in 2019. Uh, in Martin County, we had 92 units uh, in 2020, November. That was up 31%. Looks like a lot of cash coming to Martin County, right? Moving down to Palm Beach County, we had 394 units that closed. Uh, in Palm Beach County, we were up 482 units that closed in uh, November of, of 2020, Palm Beach County. So that's up 22.3%. Big numbers. Now, Average sale price. Remember, this is not how much your home average uh, increased, but we like to kind of look at this number. We had 251,000, uh, 2019, St. Lucie County. We had 274, 190. That was up 9.1% in the average sale price. That's a pretty big average sale price. Now, don't get crazy here in Martin County. We had an average of 434. 0.787. Remember, this is divided by the amount of units sold by the volume, uh, 645,229. So a lot of really high-priced units sold. That's up 48%. Remember, Martin County, your, uh, your home did not increase by 48%. Uh, moving down to Palm Beach County, we had 489,503 was the uh, in 2019 November. It went up to 753,028. Uh, so they're up 53% in average sale price. So if you think there's not a lot of money flowing into South Florida, uh, you got to look at these numbers. Now, dollar volume, that's putting everything together from a $50,000 condo to a million dollar home. That would be a total of a million fifty thousand. So in St. Lucie County, the dollar volume was 111,000, 111 million point three. So that's 300,000. It went up to 150 million point three, uh, 300,000. So that's up 35% in volume sold. These are very similar numbers to how much our volume increased for sales for the Hague Group. Moving down to Martin County, we had 75.7 million closed volume. Everything told, uh, we went up to they went up to 155.5 million. They're up 105%. So it doubled the amount of volume that was sold. Moving down, I'm sorry, that was Martin County. Moving down to Palm Beach County, because these go into the billions. This was uh, 584 million point 500,000. That is, uh, then we went to 1.2 billion uh, for, the, uh, for the total volume sold. Palm Beach County, that is up 97% to the billion. Moving up to St. Lucie County, new pending sales. So this tells us how many properties have gone 
off the market through contingency. They're just waiting to close. So that was 482 units in St. Lucie County uh, in November 2019. It went up to 597 units, St. Lucie County. That's up 23.9% new pending sales. That's really big, guys. Moving over to, moving down to Martin County, we had 176 units that were pending to close. Remember, that's past their contingency. They're just waiting to close. Uh, it went up to 253 units. That is up 43.8% uh, in the new pending sales. Tell me that there's not a lot of property going off the market. Now down to Palm Beach County, moving from Martin County, we had new pending sales, 1,362 units uh, were uh, pending to move to close in Palm Beach County as of November 2019. November to 2020 was 1,793, so they're up 31.6% in uh, the new pending sales. So these numbers are absolutely astronomical. Moving uh, to months supply, oh no, we're moving to pending inventory, all right? So pending inventory uh, is uh, what is actually uh, off the market, not new. So that's what's happened in the last couple of months. It's still in the hopper to close. It went up to uh, 86, 866 units was, um, Port St. Lucie or St. Lucie County went up to 1,262. Uh, so those are the total number of units. That's 45.7% increase in volume. Now, moving down to Martin County, it was 312 units are, are total pending units to sell. Martin County, 2019, November. November 2020 was 413 units. So that's up 32.4% in Martin County in the total number of properties that are pending to close. Now, moving down to Palm Beach County, remember, much larger county. We have 2,455 units was in 2019, November. It went up to 3,139 units. That's up 27% in uh, total new uh, or total pending inventory. Now, month supply of inventory. Remember guys, month supply of inventory under three months of inventory given an absorption rate. That's typically how many units are sold in a month. So that will tell us whether we're in a buyer's market or a seller's market. Seller's market is under three months of inventory. Buyer's market is over six months of inventory. Neutral is in the middle between three, points, uh, three months and six months. And you can see how it trends within there. Now, that was in St. Lucie County. We were trending actually towards a buyer's market that time last year. It was 3.7 months of inventory. They're down to 1.9 months of inventory, staggering. That is down 48.6% month supply of inventory. Moving down to Martin County was 4.4 months supply of inventory. Given November of 2019, it went to 23 in Martin County, that's down 47% in the amount of inventory that's out there to buy. Uh, uh, Palm Beach County was at 4.4 in 2019. They went to 2.7. Remember, there's a lot more inventory to go off the market down there, but it's still very big numbers. They were 38.6% down uh, in the amount of available inventory on the market. So all of these numbers are very, very similar uh, to what the last market update was. We have pending sales are up. We have inventory down. We have average sale price up. We have volume sold, which is really a big number, doubling the volume sold in all three counties. So if anybody's asking you out or anybody out there, I was talking with a, a buyer, a seller the other day, and, and uh, he was saying, well, somebody told me the market's not that hot. And I said, you know, if you're not uh, getting showings and you're not getting offers and in a market like this, you're overpriced, you're undermarketed, whatever it is, uh, because there is an absolute uh, just incredible seller's market going on right now. And it looks like it may not stop. Um, the invent the uh, interest rates are going to be staying low as per the Fed to 2023. We're in 2021 here. So interest rates shouldn't get uh, you know adjusted there. There's a lot of disruption out there. The disruption is really the word in the market right now. People moving out of the cities, people moving out of states with high taxes, moving coming to Florida with low taxes, homestead, low cost of living, low crime, 
Uh, so there's a lot of reasons why people are coming to Florida. They, they can come to Florida and they can still be doing, uh, you know, their business via Zoom or, or, or that from here. So amazing numbers, guys. Thanks for sticking around. I hope that you like the energy. I hope you like the information. If there's anything we can ever do to help you, please let us know. Thank you so much. Have a great day.